Welcome to this series of short features we've dubbed Spilling the Tea on Baroque. Every season, Tafel Music performs Baroque repertoire from across Europe, but in order to do so, the musicians steep themselves in the particular flavours of each country, so their interpretations reflect the national styles and tastes. In this series, three Tafel Music instrumentalists have agreed to sit down with me and spill the tea or give us the insights on what inspires them about three famously distinctive nations, the French, Italians and Germans. Dominic, thank you for joining me now to spill the tea on Italian Baroque music. If I were just to give you three words to sum up 17th and 18th century Italy, what would you go for? I think innovation, first of all, sincerity, and intensity. so many changes in Italy, but what were these stylistic features, what were these great inventions that were going on at the time? Well really, everything that was new in the Baroque started in Italy. The opera invented in Italy, the sonata, independent instrumental music, which really didn't exist as its own thing so much before the Baroque also was invented in Italy. Uh, and then later on, the concerto, completely an Italian invention. So really, the, the, all these things which became so important and spread throughout Europe all had their origins right there. For your instrument, the bassoon, what were the inventions and, and creations that are particularly relevant for you? Italian music is about singing and whether or not you're actually singing or you have an instrument in your hands. And so an instrument has to be played vocally and and the bassoon actually is a very vocal instrument and you can hear that in the earliest repertoire and then you can hear it in well into the 18th century with for example Vivaldi's bassoon concertos. Let's just delve a little deeper into the the characteristics of Baroque music, the challenges for you as a performer and the kind of the sense of what gives it its quintessential Italianness. I think when you're playing Italian music, you have to really bring a sense of immediacy to, to what you're doing. The Baroque, and Italian Baroque in particular, was really about affecting the uh, listener, the observer, at, at a really fundamental level. So whether it's Bernini, you know, uh, St. Teresa, or, or any of this music that we're talking about, uh, from Monteverdi to, up to Vivaldi and later, that what they're really trying to do is make an immediate connection to the listener and, and inspire them or bowl them over or, you know, inspire awe or just c completely impressing somebody with technical virtuosity. Mm -hmm. So it's really about um, uh, uh, affecting the, the listener in that way. So did your love affair with Italian Baroque music start with Vivaldi? I would say, though, that what really got me excited about playing on period instruments was not only Italian music, but it was music played by Italian musicians. So, for example, the Ensemble Zeffiro, which uh, is led by Alfredo Bernardini, who we've had on our stage uh, many times. He really, I credit him with really getting me excited about playing period instruments. Italians have always been uh, disseminating their art whether it was back in the Baroque, and they were, yeah. all the German courts were full of Italians. The inventor of French opera, Jean-Baptiste Lully, was actually an Italian. Yeah, and of course, then you had to export. <laughs> yes, London was full of Italians, and now uh, we're bringing them to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> 